You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. All right, back here at home, extreme weather overnight. Nearly two dozen Boy Scouts in New England recovering from a lightning strike. That strike in central New Hampshire sent three adults and 23 Scouts to the hospital, some as young as 13 years old. It happened during a major storm just outside of Belmont, the lightning strike at Camp Bell. Officials say no one was hit directly by the lightning because everyone was huddled under a shelter at the time. It could have hit the tent, it could have hit the ground and traveled through. The tent could have been anchored with a rope onto a tree, it could have traveled. There's so many different ways when you get lightning strikes that things can travel. In all, 23 scouts and three adults were hospitalized. Six of the scouts suffered burns to their chests, but officials say no one suffered life-threatening injuries. Severe weather also pounding the nation's midsection. In Illinois, high winds and torrential rains triggered mudslides, downed trees, and blew over vehicles on the interstate. Heavy rains flooded parts of southwestern Indiana, and hundreds of people are still cleaning up from flooding in southwestern Wisconsin. There are a lot of roads that were washed out, seeing a lot of bridges damaged that are impassable, uh, just culverts and tubes that are washed out. Now people are just moving forward and trying to, to get their houses livable again. Damage estimates in the town of Bosco Bell are already topping $3 million, and more severe weather is expected across the Plain States and Upper Midwest today. And there is more breaking weather news. We are keeping an eye on a strengthening storm in the Pacific Ocean. Cosme expected to become a hurricane sometime today. It sustained winds right now up to 65 miles an hour. The storm's biggest effect on land will be big waves. They are considered life-threatening in some areas.